Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone. We have our new lesson in Science 8 which is all about influence of isotopes on average atomic mass. This will be the second quarter topic, week 3 and day 4. And this lesson is under the Matata curriculum. For the objectives, by the end of the lesson, 80% of the learners will be able to First is to describe the concept of weighted average and demonstrated how it is applied in calculating the atomic mass of an element based on the relative abundances of its isotopes. The second one is to research and to present the real-world applications of isotopes, demonstrating their ability to effectively communicate the significance and impact of these applications. And the third one is to express a sense of appreciation for the importance of understanding the concept of relative abundance in determining the accurate atomic mass of an element. For the short review, let us summarize the isotopes and the atomic mass. So summarize the key from the previous days about the isotopes and atomic mass and discuss the real-life application of isotopes to spark interest and connect the concepts to everyday experience. So the following are the example of key points. For the isotopes, it is an atom of the same element with different numbers of neutrons. And atomic number, it is defined by the number of protons which remain constant across the isotopes. Mass number, it is the sum of protons and neutrons which varies among the isotopes. The atomic mass, it is weighted average mass of an element's isotopes based on their relative abundance. And the relative abundance, it is the proportion of each isotope present in a sample. The following are the importance in scientific research and practical or practice applications. Example, isotopes are used in medical imaging. Isotopes such as technetium-99 are crucial in diagnostic imaging, allowing for non-invasive internal scans to detect medical conditions. For the explicitation, explain how the isotopes influence the average atomic mass of an element and discuss the concept of weighted average and its application in atomic mass. So isotopes are atoms of the same element with different numbers of neutrons leading to different atomic mass or mass number. The average atomic mass of an element considers the masses of all its its isotopes and their relative abundances. A weighted average is used to calculate the atomic mass where each isotope's mass is multiplied by its relative abundance, the percentage of occurrence. This calculation reflects the contribution of each isotope to the element's overall atomic mass. For the work example, using a model or the diagram illustrate how the average atomic mass is affected by the relative abundance of the isotopes. And for the objectives at the end of the activity, the learners are expected to compare the isotopes of an element in terms of the number of neutrons and mass number and discuss how isotopes influence the average atomic mass of an element and their applications. For the instructions, isotopes of the same element have the same number of protons but different numbers of neutrons. So use a Venn diagram to compare the isotopes of nitrogen, the nitrogen 14, 15, and 16, and label the subatomic particles until where each isotope is used. 
for the research assignment, choose a real world applications of the isotopes. For example, the carbon dating, medical imaging, and nuclear energy. Research and summarize below the application, including the isotope used, its properties, and its significance. For the lesson activity, the students will accomplish the activity which is all about the research assignment on real-world applications for isotopes. For the overview, students will research and present a current use article related to the use of isotopes in real-world applications such as carbon dating, medical imaging, nuclear energy, environmental studies, and more. And for the materials needed, access to internet, newspaper or other news sources, pen and paper, presentation materials for creating visuals. For the procedure, first is to look for news articles online using credible news websites, scientific journals, or find articles in newspapers that are related to the isotopes. The second one is to carefully read the chosen article to understand the key points and details. The third one is to write down important information such as the type of isotopes discussed, the specific application, and its significance, how the isotope is used in the application, and any benefits or challenges mentioned in the article. And the fourth one is to write a summary of the article in your own words, which includes an introduction to the topic, the main point of the article, and your analysis of the isotope's rule and impact in the application. For the fifth procedure is a written report. Submit a written report, which is one to two pages, that includes the title, source of the article, a summary of the article, your analysis and conclusion, your references used in your research. And the last one is the presentation. So if required, be prepared to present your findings to the class on the assigned date. In making of generalizations for learners' takeaways, ask the learners why is understanding the concept of relative abundance important in calculating the atomic mass of an element. And for the reflection on learning, make the students write a short reflection on what they learned about isotopes and atomic mass and how it applies to real-world scenarios. Thank you.